Jews and Arabs don't live together, uh, don't get to know each other. I think it's very rare to find places when Jews and Arabs really see each other as equals. Israel does not give the same rights and the same budgets to the Arabic community. And, and this is where we need to create a big change. Mostly um, towns are separated according to the um, ethnical backgrounds. We have Arab towns, we have Jewish towns around. משרד החינוך כבר מהקמת המדינה, אם אני לא טועה, זה חוק חינוך ממלכתי, 1953, יש חלוקה לזרמים. בתי הספר מחולקים לפי בתי ספר ממלכתיים, שהם יהודים וערבים, ובתי ספר ממלכתיים דתיים, שהם דתיים יהודים. במשגב יש לנו 16 בתי ספר, מתוכם יש לנו שלושה בתי ספר בדואים, שלומדים שם אך ורק בדואים, דוברי ערבית, ושאר בתי הספר הם בתי ספר יהודים, בחלוקה של על יסודי ויסודי. בית ספר גליל שבעצם מופעל יחד עם עמותת יד ביד, הוא בית ספר היחיד שבו גם יהודים וגם ערבים לומדים יחד. And I think that this school teaches the children from a young age that people are equal and people need to live in peace. Both of my parents are Arab. Yeah, we speak mainly Arabic, but our parents insisted that we know both English and Hebrew so we can have a good and strong base to grow up in this country. Most of people in this country know about the other side from what they heard about the other side. In a home that speaks only Arabic, uh, they probably watch only news that are in Arabic and articles that are only in Arabic. And in homes that speak Hebrew, same. But uh, we, we learn to get along because we know that there are many things beyond um, me being a Palestinian and my classmate being Zionist. We're challenging the system. We're challenging the policy in Israel. We're challenging the public educational system here in Israel by creating schools which are bilingual. We study and teach in both languages. They're multicultural. All cultures of the families of the students who are in the school are equally a uh, part of the school. We try and create a staff that's half Arab, half Jewish, same the students. So everything we're doing is bringing together the people, bridging between the different streams and doing it on an equal basis. And that's very important in what we're doing that's based on equality. وبتعطيك كمان شعور إنه أنا لازم أكون إنسان في عندي نوع من التسامح مع هاي اللغة في عندي صبر إني أنا أسمع لغات أخرى وحتى لو أنا مش فاهمها كتير صعب لما أنت بتكون تحكي شغلي وأنت وأنا قاعدة هنا زي الأطرش بالزفة كتير صعب إنه أنا مش فاهم عليك فهون الطلاب كمان بنموا أو بربوا على الإصغاء إني أنا أصغي لغيم this is what our school does. It creates the ability to work toward this direction from very, very young age. I think our children are wired differently in their heads. Um, they have role models, teachers that are both Palestinians and Israelis from a very young age. It creates something else. It's very hard changing adults. But for them, it's natural. It's very, very natural to have an Arabic kindergarten teacher or a Jewish first grade teacher. And that's something that gives us a lot of hope to the future and very, very important in the Israeli society. When we talk about the impact Hand in Hand has beyond the school borders, we talk a lot about our parents and our alumni, because these are the people who are taking this message out of the school borders. And parents who grew up, like I grew up here in Israel, in the separate system, suddenly discover the beauty of pluralism and diversity and having different cultures part of their lives. It's all about taking ownership, responsibility, and really getting the tools to uh, impact society. At the end of the day, I'd like my students to be not only aware, but feeling capable to affect our reality. Going to the 
the school actually helped me from the education point of view. I feel like we always talk about the political side, but also this is a great educational school. Um, we're, we're taught three languages and we're fluent in all three languages and that's a huge advantage when you go into university. In my second year of university, I joined the mentoring program where you guide first year students in their first academic year. So because I'm an Arab, they gave me an Arab group of students, which may seem natural to a lot of people, but it didn't seem natural to me. My friend was actually in charge of the program, so I went up to her and asked her if, we, if I can get a mixed group of Arab and Jewish students. She told me it was never done before and she doesn't know what the consequences may be, so I told her, like, start now, like, oh, it wouldn't hurt you just to try it out. So then I did get 50-50 uh, Arab and Jewish students and they did perfectly also education-wise and socially. They became friends, lab members, um, they studied together, went out together, and to me that was something that meant a lot. I think that just to sit in the middle of Jerusalem and to know the language and to be able to connect with people in their language, which is the minimum of the things that you can give to a person, it allows me also to be able to be more confident. וגם לדבר עם, כאילו לא יודעת, אני מרגישה שכזה זה איזשהו עוד נדבך שאני רואה של המציאות, שאנשים אחרים שלא מדברים את השפה הערבית לא יכולים לראות. להשאיר את מערכת החינוך מופרדת כמו שהיא היום, זה אומר להמשיך את הקיים. זאת אומרת שיש הפרדה, וההפרדה הזאת היא הפרדה לגיטימית. וזה בעצם להמשיך להתנהל במערכות נפרדות, שאחר כך היכולת לגשר ביניהן היא הרבה יותר קטנה. בעיניי יש, יש לנו חובה לעשות את השאלה. And that's what pushes the fair way. We want to be a beacon for the educational system in Israel and for society in Israel to learn how shared society works. People come day to day, live together, study together, celebrate together their different holidays, learn about each other, share their narratives, share their music, share their art, celebrate that diversity in a very pluralistic way, very open and pluralistic way for everybody.